To multiply monomials by polynomials, you need to know two things in math. One is the distributive property, which tells me that I need to multiply the term that's outside of the parentheses by each of the terms that's inside of the parentheses. And the second thing you need to know is your exponent rules, which I'll review with you now. So we're going to multiply the monomial, one term, 3x to the fourth power, by the binomial, which is a type of polynomial that's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to start by distributing this 3x to the fourth to 2x to the fifth power. So I'm going to multiply these coefficients, 3 times 2 is 6, and then the exponent rules that I was referring to is the product rule, which says that if I have the same base, which I do, my base is x, then I can keep that base and I add the exponent. So I'm going to add 4 and 5 here to get 6x to the ninth as the first term in my answer, right? Now we're going to distribute, so we still have to multiply the 3x to the fourth to the negative x. If it helps you to write in the invisible coefficients and invisible exponents so you don't forget they're there, go ahead and do that. So this x has an invisible 1 being multiplied by it. That doesn't change its value, right? And it also has an invisible 1 that it's being raised to. That also doesn't change its value. x to the first power is still just x. Um, but putting it there will stop you from forgetting to add it to the other exponent that's on the outside. So 3 times invisible negative 1 is negative 3. And x to the 4th times x is x to the 5th power because 4 plus invisible 1 is 5. So this binomial is the answer to number 1. All right. Number 2, I'm multiplying 7g by the two terms inside this parentheses. So I'm going to go 7g times 3g squared. That's going to give me 21g to the third. That 3 coming from, again, me not forgetting that there's an invisible 1 here. And then I'm supposed to add the exponents when I'm multiplying as long as my bases are the same, which they are. So 21g to the third. And then I have 7g times negative 4g, which is going to give me negative 28g to the second power because I'm adding both of these invisible one exponents to each other, okay? I'll do one more example where I have a trinomial inside, so three terms inside. Okay, even though I have three terms inside and a fraction on the outside, just to annoy you guys, the process still stays the same, so it doesn't get any more complicated. You're still distributing this term that's on the outside to each of the three terms that are now on the inside. So we're gonna multiply the coefficients. One half times 10, half of 10 is five. We see that we have the same base. So like I reminded you before, when you have the same base and you're multiplying, you keep that base and you add the exponent. So 5y to the 8th is my first term. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Half of 2 is 1, right? And then y to the 5th times y is y to the 6th because we're not forgetting that invisible 1 exponent. And then lastly, 1 half times 8 is positive 4. And there is no y term inside to multiply by, so that's going to remain y to the fifth. There's no additional y to multiply by and add the exponents to. So this purple trinomial is the answer to this one. All right, here are two practice problems for you. Try them. The answers will be in the description below the video. So go ahead and check and see if you got them right. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know. And if you didn't and you can't find your mistake, feel free to leave a comment. I will try to help you.